This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. everyone and welcome to the winter edition of TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. I'm Dancy Moeller. We are happy you can join us because we have teams ready to play. We have four schools who will be playing tonight. You're going to see Pandora Gilboa take on Crestview High School and then a little bit later Ellen East will face off against Arcadia. All right, we want to introduce you to our players joining us now from Crestview High School. We have Vincent Adam. Colby Swagger, Hannah Bullion, and Danny Pollock. And Crestview is coached by Sandy Grooms. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Pandora Gilboa. Playing for Pandora is Carrie Burkhart, Nick Norton, Brooke Meyer, and Jacob Suter. And Pandora Gilboa is coached by Leo Recker and Joyce Suter. Welcome to all of you. All right, we have 10 questions in this very first round, 10 points apiece. They're up for grabs. It's very important that you speak up when you answer your questions. Make your answers as complete as possible. And is everybody ready to go and have a good time? All right, here we go. Question number one. Name the second president of the United States. Yes, John Pandora. Adams. John Adams. John Adams is correct. Number two. Name the largest borough of New York City in actual size. Yes, that would be Crestview. Manhattan. Manhattan <clears throat> is incorrect, so Pandora Gilboa, you've got a chance. The Bronx. That's also incorrect. Queens is the answer. All right, number three. What Missouri landmark was designed by Aero Saarinen? Yes. The St. Louis Arch. We'll accept that, very good. All right, question number four. Which team won the first two Super Bowls? Yes, Crestview. Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers is correct. Moving on to number five now. On which date does the U.S. President's term of office begin? Yes, Crestview. January 20th. January 20th is correct. All right, number six. Which state flag features a profile of a bison? Crestview. Wyoming. Wyoming is the answer. All right, number seven in this first round. From 1913 to 1925, Ford's Model T was only available in what color? Yes, Pandora Gilboa. Black. Black is correct. Three questions remaining in this first round. Which founding father is known for his large signature on the declaration? Yes, that would be Crestview. John Hancock. John Hancock is correct. Which horror character can be killed by a silver bullet? Yes, Crestview. Vampire. Vampire is incorrect, Pandora. Werewolves. A werewolf is the answer. And your final question in this first round. What two objects form the symbol of the medical profession? Yes, Pandora. Um, a snake and a staff. You are correct, a <gasps> snake and a staff. All right, we've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score, and it's a close one. Pandora Gilboa, you have 40 points. Crestview with 50. We'll be back with our final two rounds after the break, so don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Welcome back. It's a tight game right now between Crestview High School and Pandora Gilboa. Right now, Pandora with 40 points. Crestview with 50, that means you're going to lead this next round. Five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answers. 
All right, number one, name the specific style of architectural design popular in the 1890s. Yes. Gothic. Gothic is incorrect. Art Nouveau is the answer. All right. Nikon, Canon, and Olympus all make what product? Yes. Cameras. Cameras is the answer. What was the first Disney cartoon film based on the life of a real person? Time is up. The answer is Pocahontas. All right. What is another name for moving sculptures? We can take your answer. Kinetic art. That is incorrect. Mobiles is the answer there. All right. Here's your final question. The musical Cats was written by what composer? Yes, Crestfield? Sondheim. Sondheim is incorrect. Andrew Lloyd Webber is the answer. All right, moving over to Pandora Gilboa now for your five questions. Please ring in with your answers. On which continent is the natural habitat of the aardvark? Yes. Asia. Asia is incorrect. It's Africa. All right. What type of creature was Chewbacca in Star Wars? Yes. A Wookiee. A Wookiee is the correct answer. Give the code name for the U.S. attack on Iraq in 1991. Um, Desert Storm. Desert Storm is the answer. What is the term that describes the amalgamation of two or more companies? Yes. Merger. Merger is correct. And you have one more question in the second round. Name the state that is known as the Golden State. California. Yes. California is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our second round. Here is the score and it is still a tight one. Pandora Gilboa, you have 60 points. Crestview with 55. We're entering our final round. 10 questions again, we're 10 points apiece. Let's go. What vehicles compete in the annual Tour de France? Yes, Crestview. Bicycles. Bicycles is the answer. Sunflowers is a famous painting by which, yes, that would be Pandora. Van Gogh. Van Gogh is correct. What country is home to flamenco dancing? Yes, Pandora. Spain. Spain is the answer. Question number four. What is the term used to denote the unauthorized and illegal accessing of computer programs? Yes, that would be Pandora. Pirating. Pirating is incorrect. Crestview, you want to try it. Yes. Hacking. Hacking is the answer there. What color chip is a very good investment? Yes, Crestview. Blue chip. Blue chip is correct. Name the technical term for the main body of an airplane. Yes, Pandora. The hull. That is incorrect. Crestview, you want to try it? Yes. Cockpit. That is also <clears throat> incorrect. The word is fuselage. All right, question number seven in your game. What is sushi traditionally wrapped in? Yes, Pandora. Seaweed. Seaweed is correct. The Roman numeral D stands for what number? Yes, Crestview. 10. 10 is incorrect. Pandora, you want to try? 100. 100 also incorrect. 500 is the answer. Okay, we have two questions remaining in this game. Which Italian city was buried along with Herculaneum when Vesuvius, yes, that would be Pandora. Pompeii. Pompeii is correct. And here's your final question in your game. 
What is the Japanese name for a giant wave? Yes, Crestview. Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our game between Crestview and Pandora Gilboa. It was close right up until the end, and here's our final score. Crestview, 95 points. Pandora Gilboa, 100. You will be moving on. Congratulations, Crestview. Great showing and great job. Thank you so much for joining us this season. We'll be back with our next game right after the break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupie Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. Welcome back, everyone. We just wrapped up another close game this season between Crestview and Pandora Gilboa. And the winner there is Pandora Gilboa. They will be moving on to take on the winner of this game now between Arcadia and Allen East High Schools. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Allen East. We have Tim Dunn, Mason Duvernay, Dalen Foster, and Derek Collinger. And Allen East is coached by Clay Casey. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Arcadia High School. We have Drake Spridgen, Jordan Marzak, Lucas Puttycomb, and Ryan Pittman. And Arcadia is coached by Keisha Holtzberry. Welcome to you gentlemen. All right, we have 10 questions in this first round, 10 points apiece. Everybody get the buzzers ready. Please speak up as loudly as you can. You have parents, grandparents, and friends watching you at home, playing along with you. And we also want you to be as complete as you can with your answers, okay? Here we go. Question number one. Name the first man-made satellite to orbit the Earth. Yes, Arcadia. Sputnik. Sputnik is correct. Black, brown, and Kodiak are types of what kind of animal? Yes, Arcadia. Bears. Bear is the answer. Which city used to be called New Amsterdam? Yes, Arcadia. New York. New York city. is, there you go. New York City is correct. Who directed the movie Jaws? Yes, Alan East. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg is correct. In which West Indian dance does the dancer pass under a low pole? Yes, Alan East. Limbo. Limbo is the answer. Question number six in your game. In what city and state is Harvard University? Arcadia. Uh, New York. That is incorrect. So, Alan East, you have a chance with this one. Yes. Boston, Massachusetts. That is incorrect. It's Cambridge, Massachusetts. All right, question number seven. How many hours ahead of Hawaii is New York City? Yes, that would be Arcadia. Seven. Seven is incorrect. So, Alan East, you want to try? Yes. Six. Six is also incorrect. Five is the answer. All right, question eight. What is the meaning of the French phrase faux pas? Yes, Arcadia. Fake. Fake is incorrect. Alan East, you want to try it? Yes. False. That is also incorrect. It's a mistake or a blunder. All right, two questions remaining in round one. Name the Chicago suburb that shares a name with a Roman statesman. All right, we've got a Ellen East answer. Brutus. That is incorrect. Arcadia, do you want to try? Caesar. That is incorrect. It's Cicero 
is the answer there. All right, here's your final question in this round. In what mountain range is Mount Everest located? Yes, Alan East. The Himalayas. Himalayas is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our first round and we have a tie. Both teams with 30 points and in a coin toss, we have decided that Alan East, you will lead the second round. You have five questions. They are all yours worth five points apiece, but please buzz in with your answers, okay? What is the first word of the Declaration of Independence? All right, time is up. The answer is when. All right, number two. Canada is made up of how many provinces? Yes, Ellen East? Nine. Nine is incorrect, it's 10. All right, number three. Malcolm Little was a civil rights leader better known by what name? Yes. Malcolm X. Malcolm X is correct. Question number four. Name the author of the play, Death of a Salesman. All right, time is up. The answer is Arthur Miller. And here's your final question in the second round. Give the musical term that means to gradually increase intensity. Yes. Crescendo. Crescendo is correct. All right, we're going to move over now to Arcadia for your five questions. Everybody set over here. All right, make sure that you buzz in with your answers. On March 11th of 2011, the power plant in Fukushima, Japan, became a nuclear disaster when an earthquake caused, caused what phenomenon? Yes. Nuclear meltdown? That is incorrect. It's a tsunami. All right. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the United States from what country? Yes. France. France is correct. What does the N stand for in NATO? Yes. North. North is correct. Semaphore is a method of sending signals using what? Smoke. Smoke is incorrect. It's actually flags. All right, here's your final question in round two. What is the main diet of a polar bear? Seals. Seals is correct. That is the answer. All right. We have come down to the end of our second round now. Still a close game. We have a score here. Allen East with 40 points. Arcadia with 45. We are going to be back with our final round after the break. You don't want to go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you, and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, only five points separate these two teams right now. We've got a game going between Arcadia and Allen East High Schools. Our score right now, Arcadia with 45 points, Allen East with 40. We are down to our final round. Again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Make sure you speak up with your answers, okay? Here we go, number one. In 1979, Bob was the first one of these to be given a male name. Yes, that would be Arcadia. Barbie. Barbie is incorrect. Alan East, do you want to try it? Yes. Is it a Cabbage Patch doll? That is incorrect. It is Hurricane. All right, question number two. Who was the United States president at the time Elizabeth II was crowned Queen of England? Yes, Arcadia. Thomas Jefferson. 
That is incorrect. So, Alan East, you've got a shot at this one. Yes. Dwight D. Eisenhower. That is the answer. Oh. All right. <laughs> Question number three. Mildew is a kind of what? Alan East. Mold. Mold is correct. Question number four in your game. What is the traditional rising agent in bread? Yes, Arcadia. Yeast. Yeast is correct. Name the author of the novel Moby Dick. Time is up. The answer is Herman Melville. All right, moving on to number six. A bibliophile is someone who enjoys what activity? Yes, Alan East. Reading. Reading is correct. A triathlon is comprised of running, swimming, and what other? Yes, it would be Arcadia. Cycling. Cycling is correct. Who is credited with inventing genes? Yes, Alan East. Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss is correct. All right, we have two questions remaining in your game. In the Bible, Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of what? Yes, that would be Alan East. Salt. Salt is correct. And your final question. What sport uses the same shaped ball as used in football? Alan East. Rugby. Rugby is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game now between Arcadia and Allen East High Schools. Here is the score. Arcadia, 65 points. Allen East, you're the winner with 100. Congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Arcadia, thank you for joining us this year. And we want to thank you at home. We hope to see you back here next week. Until then, enjoy your week, everyone. Bye-bye.